Actinomycosis is a rare type of bacterial infection. Most bacterial infections are confined to one part of the body because the bacteria are unable to penetrate through the body's tissue. However, actinomycosis is unusual in that the infection is able to move slowly but steadily through the body's tissue. Actinomycosis can develop almost anywhere inside the tissue of the human body. But the condition tends to affect certain areas of the body and can be classified into four main types. Oral cervicofacial actinomycosis Thoracic actinomycosis Abdominal actinomycosis Pelvic actinomycosis Next I will explain each type in detail. Oral cervicofacial actinomycosis is where the infection develops inside the tissue of the neck, jaw or mouth. Most cases are caused by dental problems, such as tooth decay. Oral cervicofacial actinomycosis is the most common type of actinomycosis and accounts for an estimated half of all cases. Thoracic actinomycosis is where the infection develops inside the lungs or associated airways. It is thought that most cases of thoracic actinomycosis are caused by people accidentally inhaling droplets of contaminated fluid into their lungs. Thoracic actinomycosis accounts for an estimated 15 to 20 percent of cases. Abdominal actinomycosis is where the infection develops inside the abdomen, tummy. This type of actinomycosis can have a range of potential causes. It can develop as a secondary complication of a more common infection, such as appendicitis, or after accidentally swallowing a foreign object, such as a chicken bone containing the actinomyces bacteria. Abdominal actinomycosis accounts for an estimated 20% of all cases. Pelvic actinomycosis is where the infection develops inside the pelvis, the bony structure that includes the hip bones. Pelvic actinomycosis usually only occurs in women because most cases are caused when the actinomyces bacteria are spread from the female genitals into the pelvis. It is thought that most cases of pelvic actinomycosis are associated with the long-term use of the intrauterine device, IUD, type of contraceptive, which is often referred to as the coil. The coil is a T-shaped device that fits inside the womb. Pelvic actinomycosis accounts for an estimated 10% of all cases, each type has different symptoms according the location. Next I will explain the symptoms of each type separately. The symptoms of oral cervicofacial actinomycosis include 1. Swollen lumps on your cheek or neck, which can gradually increase in size and number. 2. Reddish or bluish colored skin over the lumps. 3. High temperature, fever, of 38 degrees Celsius, 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or above may occasionally develop. During the initial stages of oral cervicofacial actinomycosis, the lumps may be tender before later becoming painless and hard to the touch. Your jaw muscles may also be affected, which can make chewing difficult. Oral cervicofacial actinomycosis can also cause narrow passages to open up in the surface of your skin in the affected areas. The passages are called sinus tracts. These should not be confused with sinuses, the cavities found in your face and nose. The sinus tracts leak pus, which may contain a yellow, granular lumpy. The symptoms of thoracic actinomycosis include high temperature, fever, of 38 degrees Celsius, 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or above. Weight loss. Tiredness or fatigue. Loss of appetite. Shortness of breath. Chest pain. The appearance of sinus tracts on the surface of your chest. You may also develop a dry cough or a cough that produces phlegm. You may bring up drops of blood when you cough, or if you produce phlegm it may be blood stained. The symptoms of abdominal actinomycosis include Mild fever, usually a temperature that is no higher than 38 degrees Celsius, 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit Weight loss Tiredness, fatigue A change in your bowel habits, such as constipation or diarrhea Abdominal, tummy, pain Nausea, 
feeling sick, vomiting, a noticeable mass or lump in your lower abdomen, the appearance of sinus tracts on the surface of your abdomen. The symptoms of pelvic actinomycosis include lower abdominal pain, irregular or abnormal vaginal bleeding or discharge, loss of appetite, tiredness, fatigue, mild fever, a noticeable mass or lump in your pelvis, the bony structure that includes the hip bones.